So, do you want to get some very OP gear in Diablo 4 when it comes to your endgame build? Well, this is the video for you. Yes, there's many, many ways to grind and get gear, whether it be the Hell Tides, or doing dungeons, or hell, even doing Nightmare Dungeon with your sigils are all very, very powerful ways to get gear. Oh, don't forget about the Tree of Whispers. This is really good ways to get gear. But, one thing that people forget to do in Diablo 4 is check the vendors this is going to be a very very quick video guys and if you don't know that vendors re-roll their gear at the top of every hour as you can see here let's go ahead and shift over you got gear that has a new stock delivery 39 minutes to go it's it restocks at the top of every hour but what you might not know is that typically when it comes to vendors in diablo you don't really care like once you've reached a certain level you don't really care what they have because typically it's not going to be as good as what you have found out in the open world, dungeons, etc. However, there is times when the vendors just have god roll items and it absolutely benefits your build entirely. For example, we have one that we had just found. I have an amulet here that I'm really looking forward to finding. I need to re-roll the natural disaster passive and I need toxic claws. The rest of the stats are fantastic with cooldown, spirit cost, and damage reduction. However, re-rolling stats on gear can be expensive. You can see I have less than a million gold because I've spent so much money on re-rolling all of my stats. So, always check the vendor, and here's why. You're going to see this god roll that we're going to have. So, we got some really good stuff here. I don't really need any of this, but we're going to go over to our vendor here for the amulets and rings. And you guys are going to see this really really baller baller amulet that we have right here the nobility anvil amulet for the druid two ranks of toxic claws for the max roll 6.1 percent total armor total armor while in werebear or werewolf form and 6.5 or 5.6 percent cooldown now when it comes to these stats i want the damage reduction or the armor in werewolf like that's fine the Toxic Clause is a 100% necessity, and Cooldown is a 100% necessity. Okay, so we can re-roll the total armor for a number of different things here. This can be a uh, Cooldown Reduction, which would actually be very, very important. Actually, we already have that. Now, Cooldown, excuse me. We would want Spirit Cost Reduction on here, which would be awesome to help us to be able to spam our Shred as we're just shredding out. And this is very important because I need this to fight Uber Lilith. Very, very important here. So, we're going to go ahead and snag this amulet. Bada bing, class? bada boom. We've spent all of our money, and it's an absolute god roll. Okay, not only did it give us Toxic Claws, I probably would have bought it just for that reason, but it has all of the other stats that we need as well, especially cooldown. Cooldown is very important. The total armor and total armor for Werewolf are interchangeable. You could probably swap out either one. However, I just like, you know, total armor while in Werewolf, and it's at a higher roll as opposed to the other one. I guess, actually, no, it's not when you actually look at it. 6.1% is almost a max roll instead of total armor while in Werewolf form. But we want to re-roll this and try to get... Uh, spirit cost reduction which would be very very beneficial to our build uh, other like other roles that you could get would be like movement speed maybe or if you wanted to get a super god roll on an amulet you could actually get both the in venom roll for this build as well as the toxic claws so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over here and i think it's really really important i almost want to just keep the total armor just because it's a higher roll but the total armor while in werewolf form is also very good uh, I think I'm just going to keep total armor because it's the higher roll. So let's just go ahead and roll. Let's get rid of this. Spirit cost reduction right there on the first roll. Bada bing, bada boom. It's not a super high roll, so we can spend time later re-rolling that trying to get a higher spirit cost reduction roll. But this amulet slaps. So guys, gamers all around in the Diablo 4 universe here in Sanctuary, make sure to check your vendors at the top of every single hour because you never know. You never know when you're going to get a God Roll gear piece for your build. So make sure to like the video, guys. Comment down below, especially if you have not been using the vendors. Let me know what you guys think. Subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.